I'm traveling right now, which means that I don't have access to my regular home setup where I have everything set up ergonomically. This is generally a typical work setup that people have on the go. It's minimal, but it's not exactly good. You have bad posture, bad positioning. It gets uncomfortable after a while, especially if you're traveling long-term. Elevated shoulders, you have a low laptop, you're looking downwards like this. It's very likely that you start slouching like this and working. Your body's gonna really start to feel it and you're gonna regret it and it's gonna make work more unpleasant. So I'm gonna show you with a couple of tweaks and tricks how you can create an ergonomic setup anywhere, on the go, and even at your local cafe. Here is what you're gonna need. Your laptop, a roof stand to get your monitor elevated. This is the V3, the latest version. It's lightweight, it's slim, it's small. Magic keyboard, it's really slim, it's really small, compact, it's got everything you need. Long battery life and an ergonomic mouse. This is the Logitech Lift. It's great for small, even medium hands. I'll link other ones that are good for medium, large hands and other versions that I really like in the description down below. And if you purchase it using my affiliate links, it'll help support the channel at no extra cost to use. And I'll send you some good karma. Take what makes sense for you for this video and tweak as necessary. You may not be able to get a perfect ergonomic setting, but you're gonna have a way better setup than you started with. Scope out the space and see if there's any low tables. Most tables are actually too high to comfortably work on for the average human, especially if you're on the short shorter side and see if there's any tables where you could possibly use something as a footrest too. If you have multiple chairs to choose from, see if you prefer chairs with adjustments, see if there are smaller chairs that have less seat depth, anything that basically will allow you to have your back comfortably sitting on the backrest, feet flat on the ground as much as possible or have some sort of support. If the chair seat depth is too big, what you can do is put a pillow, a cushion, your backpack or even roll up a sweater to fill up that gap in the back and that way you have nice back support. And if you are lucky enough to have a office chair wherever you are, you're likely to have at a minimum a chair that can go up and down. So now we're sitting comfortably in the chair with our back supported. Now take out your roof stand. We're gonna elevate the laptop. Generally you want the top of your screen at eye level. Adjust your posture and be mindful of your posture as much as possible. Try to get that 90 degree elbow bend in your arms with relaxed shoulders and tuck the chair armrest under the table. You may not be at a perfect 90 degree, but as close as possible is good. And then make all the tweaks necessary to your roof stand, to your chair, to your backrest. And since your laptop is elevated, you're of course going to need a separate keyboard to now work on and an ergonomic mouse, which will help reduce tension by having your arm in a more neutral, natural and comfortable position. That's the end of a workday for me. I love how easy, compact, and portable this system is, and that you can apply most, if not all of these tips whenever you're working on the go. So let me know your comments down below, let me know your setup, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.